I'm going to be excavating in the frontage today, so I've got Everest's help today, and he's going to come in here and start deconstructing this whole pan and structure so that we can rework the excavation, get it down to an appropriate elevation. I've got to also work this uphill side. There's a drainage ditch that I've had in there, so I need to get a good refinement in that ditch and reshape this stuff as it, as it enters into the back of that uh, pasture space back there too so we're gonna he's gonna get busy with that and just try to get all of this stuff dismantled and taken apart so that we can get it relocated and repurposed and get in here and rebuild this pen the way that we want it permanently Everest got a long ways with dismantling all of this work here. He got the fence off over here, all the boards and everything disconnected. He got the building and structure taken apart, screws collected on all the sheet metal, and everything done that way. So that half is good. I just went through and pulled these screws out on these rub boards right through here there is a little bit of a seep that comes down and it soaks out and leaches out right here about that white rock. I've got to refine this ditch, make sure it stays open and good and has a definite like wrap around and drop under. I might even need to put a little bit of pipe across here just to let this ditch go into the pipe and then exit into the pasture through this flatness. This clay ground likes to suck up the water and then not let go of it for a while, which means the ground swells. And that's going to affect the building structure. So, so I'm going to get in here now and try to get all this stuff out of the way and 
start pulling some posts so that I can carve this down and get the elevation where I want it. Now we put in like two truckloads of road base right here. So I'm gonna scrape off the stuff that is organic matter, pitch it off the side, and then I'm gonna try to dig out the road base and pile it up and save it so that I can get down to just base grade and start working that grade all the way back here. This initial cut here, that's been here for seven years. And that's okay because it just continues to drain, but I need to take this back just another foot or two and continue it out here just to make sure that this doesn't continue to happen. This ground sloughs down and swells up here and builds up. My goal is to try to get the building probably 10 feet from the hydrant out here. If I go 10 more feet from the hydrant, that's 60. And if I go 10 feet behind the building, that's 70. And that's about what my posts and purlins and beams can span. Mark and Everest have worked really hard to already take down the fencing and majority of the building. However, we need to pretty much wrap it up today. Um, Cause in two more days, we have a big family reunion that's gonna be coming out here. One, it's actually gonna look nice cause they'll have plenty of parking. Uh, but two, um, we want to get it prepped so we can start pouring footers. Once the footers are in, we can build at any time. So before I could back up the truck, I need to get all this stuff picked up. All these boards and gates and things like that. And I'm going to go take it up to the greenhouse pad. So I'm going to get all that picked up and then, then I, I'm able to back up and get the rest of the materials. Oh. I feel like these posts I've carried all over the damn property. <laughs> yeah. Relocated these things a gazillion times this year. Some of them, huh? Some of them, yeah. I'm glad you're able to save them because they're kind of expensive. I was gonna back up the truck, but then I ran over the boards and I'm like, oh, I better get those first. I don't know if you guys remember last year we picked up a bunch of steel beams and and that is intended for this particular project so this is going to be a covered shelter animal shelter hay storage equipment and everything else right now we're trying to squeeze it in 
like to use the maximum amount of space and the max amount of coverage and then the roof will also slope down so we get snow coming off honey how how big you want this building i'm hoping i can fit 26 by 72. that's quite a bit if i can get it to fit yeah and then the the steel beams that you got you have up to you have up to 90 feet if you I wanted do, to yeah i could do up to 90 foot long just don't have the room here to get 90 feet right we're going to take all this down and clean it up Climb that? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, go ahead and pull the strap off the back of that. Sometimes you gotta clear out some stuff to make room for all.
Okay, that is it, right? All the wood's down. Now we just gotta pick it up. That's all the structure, all the things and stuff. You can tell right here it's significantly lower. How many, is it like two feet? Two. Yeah, two feet or so. Two feet lower there than here. And then where Everest is, yeah. we're gonna cut into this hillside, refine that, make it more neat. Keep a ditch on that uphill side and then cross. I'll probably get a piece, go and get a length of our pipe and make it enter a pipe and cross under here and just exit into the field, into the pasture here. But I want, I, I need to keep this kind of flat and I don't want an open ditch here where the animals will tromp through. Yeah. Yeah, show off those volleyball muscles. Okay, so when we go up the mountain, is this all going to slide off? Um, as long as a maniac isn't driving. So you, you're not going to drive? I'm driving. It's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, we're, we're going to drive um, up to the greenhouse pad. And Mark says, even though nothing is strapped down, nothing will fall. And if it does, he'll just pick it back up. That's right. That's right. Well, good job, everything stayed on. I knew it would. I had full confidence. <laughs> what is that? It's an edible green. It's like mustard greens or collard greens or spinach tops or chard. Just goes naturally around here. All over the place. Mark, did Ragnar give you that tip? He says it's the best, yeah. <laughs> it's <a> preferred. <laughs>
just like that, it's gone. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be good to get this moving. Better, better set up all the way around. 